How's it going? It's your boy, Mr. Christensen, with another... Okay, I promise I won't uh, use that joke um, more than once in a video. All right, so I noticed on our 3.3 assignment, your code is great, but most people are not creating the custom block that it's actually asking for in the assignment. So I have the assignment pulled up here. It's lab 3.3. Let me check my calendar. Um, and our first little assignment here is the basics. We are gonna write a custom snap block called month name that takes a number between one and 12 as an argument and says the, the corresponding month. So what I want to happen is when I pull up this custom block, I can put in the numbers 1 through 12, and then it will say the corresponding month. So let's go over to Snap real quick, and we're going to open up a new Snap project here. So I'm going to click Run Snap, and it's opening up. Here we go. It's taking just a minute. You'll have to pardon. My kids are in the background. Working from home is a little bit of a pain, but you know. Um, so I've got this all pulled up. I'm going to real quick increase my block size so you can see uh, what's going on. I'm going to change that from a 1 to a 1.5. 1.5. Okay, so now you should be able to see the blocks a little bit better. So for a custom block, remember you can do this in any one of our little categories here. We're just going to do it under uh, motion. Eh. Let's do it under looks because it's going to be saying something. I'll go ahead and put it under looks. So I'll go down to the very bottom and click make a block. So make a block right down here at the bottom. Hopefully you can see my mouse moving around. Clicking make a block. And so our first one, it's going to be a custom block. We will leave it as a command block for now. But what did we want to call it? I've got to go back to my assignment and see what they wanted to call it. Ah, They want me to call it month name. All right, so back to my little script here. I'm going to put in month name. If I spell things wrong, give me a break. Let's see, and we'll click OK. So we're going to click OK, and that brings up our little custom block editor. So now I have a section where I can put things in. So I wanted it to, going back to my assignment. Nope, that's your links. There we go. I want it to take a number between 1 and 12 and say the corresponding month. So going back here, I want it to take an argument. So it's going to take a number. So if I click this little plus after my month name, that means I can add something to my custom block. So here I could click input name, but I want to be able to input a number. So I'm going to click this right arrow right next to it there, and that brings up all my little <laughs> options. Let me drag that to the middle of the screen here. And I want a number. So I'm going to click this little bubble here for a number. Now I have to call that something. Uh, I'm going to just call it month number. So I remember what it all is. Um, we're also going with single input, and we'll click OK. Now, if you don't save that as a name, it's just going to revert back to where you were and make you do it again. you got to make sure you put in the name. So I've got my month number here, and notice it's that orange color, which means it's a variable. I understand your frustration. Um, so this little month number is going to be a variable that we use a little bit later. Now, what I said was I'm going to put in a number 1 to 12, and I want to spit back out the name of the month. So we're going to go with our if under control here. So I've got an if block that I'm going to use. Let me scooch down here to an if. Whoop. Boom, boom. And let me see if I can make this a little bigger. There we go. So if, hmm. So let's say we want to do January. So eventually, I want to do a say January, right? That's going to be under looks. We all know where say January is. So say hello for two seconds. Whoop, we're going to say January for two seconds. January for two seconds. So what number do I need the month to be to get January? Hopefully, y'all said one. 
Um, we'll just make sure. So the number needs to be one or equal one. Where am I going to find equal? I'm going to find it under operators. So if I click on my operators, I can scroll down to my little equals here. Boom. So now, if the number they put in is one, they're going to say January. So in order to get that, I grab my month number, drag it down into this little equal sign, and pop it back here. Now, so if month number equals one, it's going to say January for two seconds. Now let me click apply and OK. Now where did that block go? Remember we said it was going to be under looks. So down at the very bottom here, whoop, we see month name. I can drag that nice little custom block up here. And if I put in a one and click on it, it says January. Yay! We did what we wanted to. But I'm going to put in a 2 and click on it. Nothing happens because I didn't program anything to happen when it says number 2. So if I right click on the block, I can then click edit and bring this back up. So I like that January worked. So I'm just going to cl right click on my if, duplicate it, drag it down here, change the number from a 1 to a 2, and change the say from January to February. February? I don't remember how to spell February. Hmm. February. Eh. One of my kids can probably spell that better. If I spelled it wrong, you can roast me in the comments. Um, thank you. So this is going to be the same thing I do for all 12 of my months. And then I can just put those in here. Yay! So we're going to do three as January, February, March is my next one. Christine, leave your mom alone. She's still sleeping. Sorry again for that. Uh, and I'm going to click apply and click OK. That's my little month one. So if we go back, we're going to do the same thing for our days of the week, one through seven. We just make a new block for days of the week. And then we've got uh, days in. And then for this one, you're going to have to figure out our uh, January, how many days in a month. Remember, you have the uh, you can use the knuckle thing, or you can look at a calendar to see how many days are in each month. Um, we're going to assume a non-leap year on this one. So you're not using a leap year, which would be February having 29. You just use February has 28 on that one. Then if we move down here, we get to go a little bit further into these things. So we're taking into account leap years, which gives this whole little Wikipedia definition of what's happening in leap years. So that code needs to go into it. If these things are true, then do this other thing. And then a valid date. Uh, if it's there, you're going to take it. And then for that last little section here, we've got to actually figure out the day numbers. So there's 365 days in a year, 366 on a leap year, and we want them to be able to type in a number and we tell them what month and what day it is. So in our little snap here, you're probably going to need to use a date range. So like if it's between these two things, set month to January and set day to however many you end up with there. All right, hopefully this gets you started. Um, I can work with you a little bit more on it another time. So uh, enjoy. Uh, tomorrow we will be moving on with 3.4. I know we've been on 3.3 forever. So we'll be moving on with 3.4 tomorrow. You can just take your existing code and kind of move it over into this custom block format. All right, thanks. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me or contact me on Google Classroom. I'm around. I know this whole homeschooling thing is weird, but we're going to get through it. So, all right, thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.